So I'm going to uh, talk about uh, WS2 dashboard server uh, upcoming release. So we are um, we are planning to release at the end of the at the end of this year or you know very early next year. So, uh, but we are already you know we have already done uh, uh, most of the important features. So and uh, we have a stable uh, pack. Uh, so I'm going to tell you what we have done already and uh, what we are planning to do uh, within next uh, couple of months. So uh, dash f first of all, dashboard server version one uh, was known as UES, uh, user engagement server. So that had a bit of a broader scope where you can do dashboards as well as some uh, interactive user uh, end, uh, front ends but uh, now we have we but uh, from the feedback we received uh, uh, we have found out that it is mm, the user's uh, expectation is more towards just narrow dashboard creation so we have limited uh, the scope to dashboards and uh, so we have we can polish that part up and uh, solely uh, bring it up as a dashboard server. So it is a uh, uh, gadget container. So I'll, I'll go through what gadget is in the next slide. So what dashboard server lets you do is create a dashboard by bringing in multiple gadgets. So uh, and other key feature is that uh, p this uh, dashboards you create using this dashboard server is personalizable by each user. So if you create a dashboard, you can share it among other users in a sense. Uh, if you are a uh, technical guy, you create the, create the dashboard and you send it to, let's say, your sales team or someone who's uh, not, uh, who might have some experience creating dashboards, but they are mostly there for weaving. But they might also have a thing or two they want to tweak. So they'll go to dashboard and um, tweak it into their preference. So this is the whole experience uh, we want to deliver with dashboard server. Uh, so again, what it is not is it is not a, a gadget generation tool. Uh, so there's a bit of exception to that. I'll also cover that later. Uh, so we are not trying to provide a lot of UI widgets pre-built and uh, where you can use them. So, so that's the uh, contrast between this one and let's say uh, uh, Kibana. What you'll get there is uh, a dashboard server that is bound to a particular backend. In that case, let's say Elasticsearch, right? So uh, our dashboard server is uh, more of a framework which which has the dashboard creator fully built and you are given a programming model to create e individual uh, gadgets and uh, therefore you can select what your backend is it might be elastic search for you but it might not be. so it might be some uh, rest service it might be some database uh, so you it's up to you to create the uh, yeah. It's up to you to create the each individual visualization part, and then the uh, we we have provided the programming model to do do that, and the create uh, the creator to bring that all together and wire wire it up. Okay. So a gadget gadget again ga the definition of a gadget is not uh, WS2 invented. It is uh, originally uh, defined by Google, and then open sourced under uh, open social uh, project. So uh, it is a specification on how to write a shareable UI component. So it is basically a bunch of HTML, CSS, and JS. Therefore, it, um, uh, th there's not that much of special knowledge you have to gain to write uh, one of these gadgets. So because you uh, presumably already know HTML, CSS, and JS, right? You write that. Uh, only difference is you bundle it in a, a particular way uh, in XML with some metadata, and there are specific places you can hook, 
hook into to get some events and uh, communicate with the rest of the framework. So other than that, it's plain all uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Right. So, uh, so I have included two uh, completely different uh, widgets here, gadgets here, uh, to highlight that yes, it can be something you see in normal gadget creation. Uh, tools that that is bar chart or line chart or some kind of chart, but it may also be something very, you know, non-chart like non-data visualization like so like a a, a, gadget, a widget that says uh, shows uh, weather, a widget that shows uh, your social streams, your latest tweets, or it can be a widget that shows just a big red button that says everything is good or everything is bad. Uh, depending on you know the uh, state of uh, a certain server is running running or not so uh, when we talk about gadget we talk about not just data visual visualization uh, elements we talk about broader ui element that can be shared uh, another big advantage of uh, gadgets is gadgets can be parallel developed so uh, gadgets each gadget is a uh, isolated unit so uh, advantage there is you can uh, this uh, you can assign these gadgets to be developed by individual teams uh, that way you can like bring up an, a new dashboard in much simpler uh, much uh, efficient way because there's no tight coupling between each gadget so one team that develops a certain gadget doesn't have ne to necessarily know how other gadgets are developed uh, because the gadget container will uh, sandbox each gadget so one gadget will not affect uh, in any way like for example if you put a CSS class that is colli colliding with everyone else's it will be all sandbox therefore each team can individually uh, take a piece and just develop focus on that piece and develop that gives you parallelism in your development making it uh, much efficient to develop a complex dashboard in a shorter time so uh, let me go into a little bit of uh, details in in what's new in dashboard server 2 so uh, first thing is a responsive ui so uh, so basically we use uh, bootstrap uh, based responsive ui and we have a designer where you can uh, design uh, a certain like uh, okay i i want this dashboard to view this way in a desktop and this way in a tablet and that way in a phone you can arrange them and tell the uh, system the the dashboard server which uh, arrangement you want in each uh, device and then we will generate a bootstrap layout for you uh, so that way you can adapt to uh, multiple screen sizes uh, next big thing is uh, this is uh, the functional level biggest feature we have introduced uh, from uh, 1 to 2 so which is uh, pub sub um, state wiring in the UI I'll, I'll do a demo at the end to demonstrate what I'm uh, talking about here so here what you can do is um, you can create one one gadget uh, and uh, and have some output well-defined outputs for that particular gadget and then uh, another gadget can take in that take that as an input and up upon that input you can do some interact some you know change in the data set you uh, show so this is basically uh, dynamic splicing of the data so you can uh, you can use this to implement drill down charts or data splicing uh, so next one is um, integration with uh, ws2 is so what we have done is uh, when you enable uh, saml login uh, when you as soon as you lo uh, go to the login click the login button we'll send you to WC2IS and uh, WC2IS will give you a login screen you type your username password there hit enter uh, maybe you have you know configured uh, additional uh, factors to 
login and so forth, but at the, at the end we'll receive a SAML response uh, as a dashboard server. So uh, after that, when you look at a certain dashboard, what we'll do behind the scene is we'll use that SAML token and send that to IS and get a OO token back behalf of you. So that token is now issued for that uh, particular dashboard and for you. So if, uh, and then we have um, uh, uh, Java, uh, JavaScript defined uh, uh, event that we can, we publish to each gadget uh, that requires that token saying, okay, here's a token. You can use that token now to communicate with backend uh, APIs. So, um, so you have, if you are writing a gadget, you can implement that JavaScript uh, uh, SPI basically, and then you, you get a token back. And then you can use that token to talk to third party REST APIs and uh, any APIs, for example, it might be WC2 uh, API manager that understands uh, OAuth token. So this way the, the backend service that you use to sh uh, get the data can give you personalized uh, results because the token is issued just for you. So looking at the token, the backend REST service knows that the, it is issued uh, personally for you and then provide the data view that is personalized for you. Um, so finally, uh, this is uh, this uh, last slide in the slide deck. Next, I'll go to the demonstration. Uh, this is not something included in the dashboard server itself, but it's uh, relevant to dashboard server, so I'm, I have mentioned it here. That is uh, the WSU Dash uh, server, uh, especially the CEP component, includes uh, dash dashboard server. And there, what the Dash team has done is they have given a wizard to convert their uh, streams uh, event streams into gadgets. So you don't have to write any code. Once you have defined the event stream, uh, you, you can select uh, which columns uh, of that uh, streams you want to visualize and whether it's a bar chart or pie chart and so forth. And then you get a uh, gadget that is embeddable in the embedded um, dashboard server or you can get that gadget out and then deploy it in a standalone uh, dashboard server. So that way, you, uh, if you are using uh, DAS, you, uh, you don't have to write all the gadgets. You can get some help from the DAS, uh, DAS uh, gadget generation tool to get some gadgets written for you. Uh, but in, if you are writing a custom dashboard, then it is up to you to create that HTML, CSS, and so forth. Um, OK. Uh, let me go to the demonstration okay so this is the view you see as soon as you log in this is the collection of all the dashboards so um, let me re-log in because the session is expired okay so uh, and you can create dashboards and you can cr uh, select a layout so this is uh, version milestone five, where you can select a s uh, like a set of uh, predefined layouts. Uh, but in uh, next release, it's already in repo, and with uh, next week's release, you can even customize it. And we are planning to go alpha uh, within like two weeks. Um, so once once you uh, once you create the dashboard. You can uh, list all the view all the gadgets that is available for you, and then you can just drag and drop them. Uh, so, and you can get a configuration panel as similar to like uh, IDEs, where you can configure elements, uh, the properties of each of these gadgets. So, let me go to a dashboard I have already created. Uh, this one is uh, is to visualize the you know population growth and population the demographics of uh, USA. So uh, this one has uh, 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 
map of USA and if I go to settings of that map uh, I can see that it can listen this map can listen to four different uh, input types right uh, so uh, and again if I go to uh, let me add the uh, at the final map I, uh, the graph I have created so this is this again population history graph so when I just add it there's nothing to be shown because uh, well we could have selected to show some sample but uh, that is because this g this particular gadget listens to the event state uh, that means uh, this gadget lis uh, is listening to a uh, listen to some other gadget which publishes uh, a string that contains a state uh, uh, keyword like TX for Texas and so forth so it is not currently wired to anything uh, but, but if I expand that I can see that some other gadgets can publish this uh, particular type of data that is state uh, here it says uh, population density of USA which is this uh, big map thing that gadget can publish state and I can listen to that state so if I uh, put a tick here that means basically these two gadgets are now wired so if I do any change here this gadget the first gadget the map gadget will publish that uh, the publish that I have selected this uh, this state and then other gadget can react to that so um, again uh, small implementation detail uh, that everything I see here is uh, instantly saved when I do a click or anything so you don't have to go go and save anything after you create this it's uh, uh, saving uh, as I go and everything is saved into a JSON file like this so we are in the process of even simplifying this structure so uh, at the end you each dashboard is just a JSON it is defined by a JSON so if I copy this if I back this uh, JSON file I can you know keep it as a backup and so forth so um, and then uh, let me go to this is the designer view uh, and if I go to uh, view mode uh, I'll see the same dashboard in the view uh, view mode so since I'm I'm a div uh, I'm I'm in the role of admin I can go ahead and edit it but if I'm not in the admin role I only see the personalized button where I can personalize uh, to change some parameters uh, that that's only visible for me but in this case since I'm an admin I can edit it back again and do any change to the whole dashboard so uh, that's pretty much uh, um, the demo so uh, so um, uh, that's it the the release will be uh, like at the end of this year hopefully but uh, because we are almost uh, almost done with the major features um, uh, and uh, hope you can check it out in uh, product uh, DS uh, WC2 repo under releases you'll find all the releases thank you uh,